It's not the place you'd expect a gang of ageing, hairy bikers to hang out, but the manicured gardens of Clarence House were invaded by 60 noisy motorbikes this morning as the Prince of Wales hosted a roaring reception for the Royal British Legion Riders Branch. Forces News' Julie Knox was there too. This group has made a name for itself by turning out in numbers with poppies adorning their machines at repatriation processions through Wooten Bassett. Having met them there last year, Prince Charles invited the bikers to his home to thank them for their services to the military. And even though she wasn't due to attend, curiosity got the better of the Duchess of Cornwall. She even came down from the balcony to get a closer look at the bikes. Her husband seemed very keen on the machines, chuckling with the bikers about different styles of riding, and he was impressed with the mod cons on board. I have to admit, when I first came in and we looked around us, and I just said, don't we look a rabble? We look really out of place here, but, you know, this is how we do everything. This is what we dress in to do everything because obviously we go everywhere on our bikes and you can't get there in a suit. And the way they look, yet the plain down-to-earth dignity they show in remembering fallen comrades in Wooten Bassett is what's added interest and life to heartbreaking occasions. Theirs is the only branch of the Legion with a consistently growing membership. There's 90 of us here today, 90 being the number of years the Royal British Legion has been in existence. One of the, in my opinion, the best forces charity going because it covers for everybody. There is no, you're not qualified because you were this or that. It's, you're in the forces, that's it. When we were all lined up waiting to come in and the tourists were starting to stop and look at us and take photos, I welled up so proud. The riders are planning to continue their tradition and take up position on the new route when repatriations move to RAF Bryce Norton later in the year. Julie Knox, Forces News, London.